Can you see God? No, you cannot see God. Does God see you? Yes, God sees you all the time. He sees all I do. He hears all I say. My Lord is with me all the time, time, time. He sees all I do. He hears all I say. My Lord is with me all the time, time, time. Why did Jesus die on the cross? Did he do that because he had to? The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus died on the cross because he loves us. Do you remember where our story ended yesterday? What did Jesus' enemies do? Yes, they asked Pilate for guards to watch over the tomb. What were they afraid Jesus' disciples would do? That's right. They were afraid that Jesus' disciples would take Jesus' body away and claim that he had risen from the dead. Listen to find out what happens in our story today. It was very quiet in the garden where Jesus was buried. The soldiers talked softly as they guarded the tomb. The night seemed long. No one had come to steal Jesus' body. The soldiers were glad that the night would soon be over. Suddenly, the ground began to shake and rumble. It was an earthquake. An angel came down from heaven and rolled the stone away, and the angel sat on the stone. The angel looked like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. We know that's true because the Bible tells us so. The soldiers were so frightened that they fell to the ground. Slowly the sun began to rise. Some women who were friends of Jesus walked to the garden. They were bringing perfumes and spices to put in Jesus' grave clothes. One of the women said, Joseph and Nicodemus rolled a big stone in front of the grave. Who will roll the stone away for us? When they got to the grave, they were surprised. Oh, look, they said, the stone is rolled away already. The women looked in the tomb. They did not see the body of Jesus. Suddenly they saw two bright and shining angels. The women were afraid, so they bowed their faces to the ground. One of the angels said, don't, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. He is alive. The women looked at each other. Could it be true? Was this so? Had it really happened? They remembered what Jesus had said about rising on the third day. Did it really happen? Go tell the disciples that Jesus is alive. Tell them that Jesus will see them later, said the angel. The women hurried back to find the disciples. They trembled with excitement. They could hardly wait to tell the disciples the good news. Jesus is alive. Jesus visited his disciples and friends several times over the next few weeks. They were so happy that he was alive. Jesus told them, tell people everywhere about me. Tell them how I love them so much that I died for their sins and rose again. Tell them they need to trust me to forgive them from their sins. Jesus also explained how verses written many years before in the Old Testament 
about his suffering and death had come true. Jesus told his disciples that the Holy Spirit would give them the power they needed to preach the gospel. The gospel message is that Jesus died. He was buried and he rose from the dead. The fact that Jesus rose from the dead proves that Jesus has power over death. His rising from the dead shows that his sacrifice for our sins worked to pay the penalty for our sins in our place. If we repent, if we tell Jesus we're sorry and we trust Jesus to forgive us of our sins, we will live with him forever. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. The gospel is good news.